Well, hello almost stock. This is a drift truck update. Um, pretty much done with it for the year. I've been working a lot every day to save up for a whole bunch of new parts. And I'm going big. I'm, I'm gonna be obnoxious with it. Uh, I'm just gonna walk around and show it while I talk. But uh, I am going to be purchasing a T56 Tremec XL transmission, six speed. Um, I was gonna go with the F, which moves the shifter back, and then the XL moves it even further back. Um, I was gonna use the Tremec F because I wouldn't need to get a longer drive shaft. Or a different drive shaft, but I would still need to change the slip yoke in the front, which then my shaft wouldn't be balanced anymore. So I want to buy a new one anyway. So I'm going to go with the XL, which pushes the shifter location back even further. It will be about right here. Come out, <clears throat> um, which I like. I, I think it'll feel more sports car like, more controlled be short I won't have a giant stick up there and then I will move my hydro forward so basically I'll be flipping these <clears throat> um, I need to go to garage list and he is going to help me with new bracketry here since this is all twisting and ripping off the frame <laughs> Uh, we'll do a body mount, mat mount. Uh, we'll gusset the front up here. <clears throat> I want to fix all this where I plate this in. Bring this out a little bit. Get a little bit of a cup for this stuff to sit in. Grind these down and reinforce them. Uh, I want to gusset my motor mount plates. For the motor, aluminum 5.3. I'm putting all Brian Tooley Racing uh, Rotating Assembly uh, Cam Stage 3 Turbo Cam. Uh, I'm going to shaft rollers or rocker shafts, um, which is a, it's a basically turns your trunnions into a solid shaft, so less valve deflection. Um, other than that. This thing will see a new motor, a new drive shaft, uh, a couple other upgrades that I'm going to be doing. New turbo. I'm going to a VS Racing 7875 with a billet wheel. Um, I'm going to an electric water pump. The reason for an electric water pump is that I can run it while it, the motor is off, meaning I can cool the motor down while it's sitting. Um, the other reason for that is space. Uh, it's six and a half inches deep. <clears throat> and I also will get rid of this tensioner and all of the belt routing on this side. Meaning I can run another fan. I'm going to run another 16 inch fan here and put it in a shroud. That way I got better cooling. That's always been my issue with this whole setup is cooling. So I'm gonna, that's, that's my main focus for the big the built motor and uh, I'm probably gonna add I notice I got some room in here probably gonna put a power steering cooler keep that a little bit colder since I'm gonna be slinging back and forth a bunch and seats I'm really close to weight um, this trans and the Tremec T56, uh, the T56 is I think 22 or 24 pounds heavier, but the motor is 114 pounds lighter. If I've masked this all out, I'm still going to be right on the borderline of 3,000 pounds. I'd like to put a carpet back in it and eventually I need to cage it once I get kicked off a strip. But, uh, so it'll be over that. But my goal, 
I want to see 700, 650 to 700 to the wheel at 3,000 pounds. That's, I want, I want to see that and then we'll go from there. If I had to weigh 3,200 pounds, I'll just crank the boost up and make 800 and still be, that's another thing. Like with the T56 and a fully built motor and a whole new turbo, like 657 doesn't have to be my end goal. I can go 8, 850, 900. Like that'd be rowdy. <laughs> but is next year july 12th i am able to leave the state again and i am going to drive this thing down to florida to the freedom factory for whatever event is first after july 12th so i will have this there that is my goal i want it 100 percent I want gauges, I want everything. And I think over the last few years I've set this thing up to have enough good bone structure and it's pretty doing exactly what I want. So it's all in the package. So now it's just time to upgrade it. And that's why I'm going to be dropping like a whole big chunk of cash on this thing. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you updated with parts. But as for right now, this is, this is all getting upgraded. New trans, new motor, new drive shaft, new built rear end. This button right here is going to be my locking rear diff. So open diff, lock diff. That's a chunk of money, but hey, I want the drivability and I want it to be locked when I want it to be locked. So... Those are just some updates, and when I start getting parts, I'll uh, get you guys some un unboxing videos. But y'all just keep on keeping on, and stay on the channel, and we'll see what else uh, comes up. I know winter time gets slow, I apologize guys, but hey, it's been a journey. I've had this thing since... Uh, March 11th of 2018 so we're going places so, y'all just keep on keeping on and I'll uh, see you in the next one probably when I get my trans here we'll look at that same one that Cletus McFarland bought for Leroy I mean his has got a little bit extra stuff going on but he's trying to run sixes I'm trying to I don't know. Go fast. <laughs> Not that fast. But. Alright guys. Keep on keeping on.